Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a Minecraft server so you can play with your friends in the easiest way possible and obviously for free. So let's get started. So guys, obviously over the past couple of months, Minecraft has become really relevant again and very popular and a lot of people want to enjoy the game once more with their friends. Obviously you can do that through public servers but that obviously means that you're going to have to play with a lot of other people that you don't want to play with probably as well. And if you want to enjoy survival for example, this is not really the best way to go about it. So the easiest way to create a server that is going to be steady, reliable, you won't have logouts and stuff like that and it is going to be absolutely free is using a service called Aternos. This service provides servers for absolutely free and it is extremely easy to use and has a lot of useful features. So if you want to get started you need to go down to the link in the description or go right to the site itself by typing it on the web and what you want to do is click create the server because obviously you need to make a new account. Here you're going to put your username which is going to be the name displayed for example uh, when someone wants to join your server and that can be anything now what you do is just you put your email to create an account I've just created an email just for this tutorial and then you create a password you confirm the password and then you are set you just sign up to the website and here is your server pretty much ready to go as you can see the interface is very useful you can just start your server you can upload a word if you have a word already existing there are numerous of uh, useful tutorials on the Aternus YouTube channel I'm gonna leave that down below on how to do all of that but basically you can start your server this is the page as you can see this here the example 2019 the name we gave before this is what uh, the other players are going to have to put into the IP address. You don't have to put anything on the name itself. Now, if you go to the console, you don't really need to look at that ever. It's just uh, everything, all the information that the server creates when it is running. And same goes for the log. Now, when you go down to the options here, you can choose how many players you want to have in the server, the mode of the game as well as difficulty if you want to create a whitelist and a whitelist means that the person needs to be invited so if you do that you basically need to go down here to the players tab go to whitelist and then put their username in here and click add and that's the only way they can access your server even if they have your IP obviously here cracked whether if you have players that do not own the game and they are playing on a cracked version you can use you can open that so they will be able to pull it to play as well you can set time zones and everything else resource packs whatever you want this site is very versatile and really really useful there's a lot of options in here as well in the software but you don't really have to do any of that is a little more advanced so I would not advise you to play with that stuff and obviously here we've got the OPs you can put other people in there to have more access to settings and stuff like that and also you can click up here to friend access so if they want for example to open the server on their own without you they can do that as well and down here at the last one the world just like I said before you can either generate one a random one or you can upload your own word you need to have the file ready if you want to check out how to do that there will be a link in the description so I think it is pretty self-explanatory this service takes a tiny bit of time to start once you click the start button you need to click yes I accept Eula and then you have to click OK for notifications because they have a lot of people trying to open up servers so you need to wait for a bit it takes about two to three minutes every time for the server to start up but after that the server is going to be open as long as there is players in it because if you leave the servers without players in there for more than eight minutes or so uh, the server is going to close because they have a lot of people trying to open up servers 
and that is obviously taking up computing power on their own part so they have to kick you out if you're doing that all right so as you can see the server is now online it might take a little while the first time as it did for me for example now what you have to do in order to get into the server or let your friends in there you have to copy this name right here I'm gonna actually go to the options and close the whitelist and once you're in the game you need to click add server go to server address and then control V to paste whatever you have copied whatever your IP that you created is then you just click done and as you can see the server is live it has the Aternos logo you just click on it and as you can see the world has loaded properly and you can now play and do whatever you want with your friends and they can join you on your adventures so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure to click the like button below also if you want to see a video of me installing shaders in Minecraft which is what makes the game looks look this nice you can leave a comment below and uh, yeah I hope to see you guys all in the next one